Occupational Safety and Health, OSH, Practices in the Beauty Care and Wellness Salon. A. Content Standards. Demonstrate an understanding of the concepts of beauty care and wellness services. B. Performance Standards. The learners perform hand spa services following safety precautions. C. Learning Competency. Discuss the occupational safety and health, OSH, practices in beauty care and wellness services. Learning Objectives. 1. Discuss hazards and risks that may occur in a beauty care and wellness salon. 2. Emphasize the importance of applying safety precautions when giving beauty salon services. 3. Demonstrate proper safety practices through group role play illustrating possible hazards in a salon. Short review. Before we start our lesson, let's test your knowledge. I want to see what you already know about hand care. I will show you some pictures, and your task is to match each picture with its correct name. Class, have any of you ever had a bad experience in a beauty care or wellness salon? Can you share what happened and how you felt about it? After that experience, what actions did you take? Did you complain, ask for a redo, or just let it pass? Unlocking content vocabulary. We will learn some important terms that you will frequently encounter in hand care and wellness services. Let's start with the first term. Hand spa. A hand treatment performed by a trained salon staff member or masseur that helps relax and rejuvenate the hands. A hand spa is more than just a simple wash or lotion application. It's a treatment that helps clients relax their hands, improve circulation, and soften the skin. Staff use special techniques to make the hands feel refreshed and rejuvenated. Hazards. Any potential incident that can cause harm to an individual or a group of people. Hazards are anything in the workplace that could cause accidents or harm. In a salon, this could be wet floors, sharp tools, chemicals, or even poor posture. Recognizing hazards helps staff prevent injuries. Hillet is a traditional healing practice by Filipinos that involves hand manipulations, such as rubbing and pressure, on the client's body to promote healing and remove muscle and joint pain. Hillet is a traditional Filipino healing method that uses hand pressure and movements on muscles and joints to reduce pain and improve mobility. It's like a natural massage that focuses on easing tension and promoting healing. Massage is a hand manipulation applied to any part of the body to ease or alleviate muscle and joint pain. A massage is manual manipulation of muscles and joints to reduce pain, relax the body, and improve circulation. In salons, massages are done on different body parts to help clients feel relaxed and relieve muscle tension. Occupational safety and health concerns the health and safety of individuals in the workplace. It aims to prevent accidents that may harm people while at work. OSH is about keeping everyone safe at work. It includes making sure the salon is clean, tools are used properly, staff wear protective gear, and risks are minimized. Good OSH practices prevent injuries and illnesses. Reflexology is a massage applied to hands, feet and head that connects to reflex points of the body, relieving tension and treating illnesses. Reflexology is a special type of massage focused on hands, feet, and head where specific pressure points are believed to connect to other parts of the body. It helps relieve tension, improve circulation, and may promote overall wellness. Risks. Is any possible danger that can harm human life or can even cause death. Risks are situations that could cause serious harm or even death if not handled properly. For example, chemicals, sharp tools, or electrical equipment in a salon can be risky if safety measures aren't followed. Picture analysis. Let's analyze some photos that show real hazards that can occur inside a beauty salon. Picture 1. What do you notice in this picture? What do you think caused this situation? Picture 2. What hazard can you see here? Why is this dangerous in a salon environment? Now, what do you think these photos are trying to tell us? We will discuss occupational health and safety practices that must always be observed in beauty salons. Why do you think these are important? One. Wash thoroughly, dry and sterilize all the nail care cleaning tools and implements before and after each use. Cleaning and sterilizing nail tools prevents the spread of bacteria, fungi, or viruses. This protects both the client and the staff from infections, skin irritation, or more serious illnesses. Doing it before and after each use ensures every client receives a safe treatment. 2. Before providing any service to a client, ask questions related to health conditions, such as whether the client has an allergic reaction to chemicals. Asking health-related questions helps staff identify potential risks before starting the service. 
For example, a client with a chemical allergy could get a reaction if this isn't checked. This practice ensures the safety and comfort of every client. 3. Ensure the safety of all chemical mixtures, products that will be used and applied to the customer. Checking that chemicals are used correctly prevents accidents like burns, irritation, or poisoning. Staff must follow instructions, use proper measurements, and wear protective gear. This makes the salon a safe place for both employees and clients. 4. All chemical products that are used in giving treatments should be stored in a safe and not easy to reach storage area. Storing chemicals safely keeps them away from children, clients, or anyone who might accidentally touch or spill them. Proper storage prevents accidents and ensures chemicals are handled only by trained staff. 5. Check all electrical outlets to ensure they are safe if there are electric-operated tools and equipment to be used when providing service to customers to avoid electric shock. Electrical hazards can be very dangerous. Inspecting outlets and cords before using equipment prevents shocks, burns, or fires. Safe electrical practices protect both staff and clients. 6. Avoid skin contact with chemicals because it may cause skin burn both to the customer and the salon worker. Many beauty products contain strong chemicals that can irritate or burn the skin. Using tools, gloves, or protective barriers helps avoid direct contact and keeps everyone safe. 7. Wear personal protective equipment, such as an apron, disposable gloves, and face masks, while mixing chemicals to avoid skin contact and breathing difficulties or asthma. PPE acts as a shield between harmful substances and the body. Wearing aprons, gloves, and masks prevents skin burns, inhalation of harmful fumes, and long-term health issues like asthma. 8. Clean and sweep the floor frequently to avoid slips, trips or falls caused by accumulated horn hair, spills or residue from hair products and hairsprays that spread and stick to the floor. Keeping the salon floor clean reduces accidents. Hair clippings, spills, and sticky residues are easy to slip on, so frequent cleaning protects both staff and clients from injuries. 9. Avoid lifting heavy items in the salon to prevent sprains. Make sure you apply good body posture while giving services in the salon. Heavy lifting or awkward positions can strain muscles and cause long-term injuries. Using proper posture, bending knees, and asking for help when lifting heavy items keeps your body safe while working. Possible hazards and risks in the beauty salon. 1. Chemical hazard. There are different chemicals used in the beauty salon, like cleaning chemicals, equipment sanitizers and beauty products. These chemicals are advised to be properly placed in a safe storage to avoid health issues like skin contact that can cause skin burns, difficulty of breathing or asthma, and can even cause death due to poison once an individual accidentally or purposely takes in the chemical products in the salon. Chemicals in the salon can be dangerous if handled carelessly. Even small spills or touching them without gloves can hurt the skin, eyes, or lungs. Storing them safely and following instructions keeps both the staff and clients safe. It's also important to label everything clearly so no one accidentally ingests or mixes chemicals that could be harmful. 2. Improper use of needles It is not safe if a salon staff mistakenly use a syringe with needles in giving aesthetic injection to the client. One example is if the salon staff is accidentally punctured, he, she can be exposed and acquire a blood-borne virus like HIV. Being extra careful when giving such services to clients is strictly advised. Needles are very sharp and can carry serious infections if not handled properly. Even a small accidental prick can put a salon worker at risk. That's why wearing gloves, using needles correctly, and following strict safety procedures is essential to protect both staff and clients from bloodborne diseases. 3. Mechanical hazards. Improper handling and use of hair razors and scissors Barbers and haircutters are advised to handle and use with extra care the razor and hair scissors when hair cutting and barbering the clients to avoid cuts. Razors and scissors are sharp and can easily cause injuries if not held properly. Salon workers need to focus and use the right technique to avoid cutting themselves or their clients. Regular cleaning and careful handling also prevent accidents and maintain safety in the workplace. 4. Biological hazards. Spread of bacteria, unclean and unwashed beauty salon tools and equipment can cause fast spread of harmful bacteria and germs or biological agents that may cause spread of infection, skin allergy, and toxicity. Worst of all, it can also cause the spread of colds, flu and COVID virus that can cause adverse and serious effects to one's health. If tools and equipment are not properly cleaned, bacteria and viruses can easily move from one person to another. This can make both clients and staff sick. Washing, sanitizing, and sterilizing tools regularly is essential to prevent infections and keep everyone healthy. 5. 
physical hazards, strips, slip and falls, hanging or trailing wires, spilled beauty care products and uneven floors or surface of the salon and carrying heavy salon equipment and going down the stairs can cause slips, strips, and falls. Salon staff are reminded to wear non-slipped or shoes made of rubber materials that can stick to the floor to avoid slips and falls. Slips and falls are common in busy salons. Wearing proper shoes, keeping floors clean, and organizing wires and equipment carefully can prevent accidents. Safe movement and attention to your surroundings are important for everyone's safety. 6. Electrical hazards. Using poorly maintained electrical salon equipment, overloading of sockets using extension cables size not suitable for electrical devices and salon tools that can cause electric shock, burns, injuries and fires. Check open wires and repair using electrical tape. Do not use extension cable that cannot accommodate high voltage electric supply capacity. Electrical equipment can be very dangerous if it's damaged or used improperly. Salon workers should always inspect tools before use, avoid overloading sockets, and use proper cables. Simple precautions like repairing wires safely and following electrical guidelines can prevent serious accidents, injuries, or even fires. 7. Ergonomic hazards. It refers to any physical condition that can be experienced in the workplace due to incorrect body posture or movement, s that can cause injury or other health concern that may affect musculoskeletal system causing aches and sprains which can also lead to serious health problem that can cause permanent damage to one's body. Salon staff are advised to be in good posture when giving any salon services to their customers. Proper bending of knees is also advised when picking or getting something on the floor to avoid body sprains. Many salon injuries happen because staff bend, twist, or reach the wrong way. Using correct posture, bending the knees instead of the back, and adjusting height when working can prevent muscle strain and long-term injuries. Ergonomics keeps staff healthy and able to work safely. Personal protective equipment in the beauty care and wellness salon. Personal protective equipment, PPE, is essential in beauty care and wellness salons, where staff are regularly exposed to chemicals that may cause airborne disease skin conditions like dermatitis, and respiratory issues such as asthma. Proper PPE helps protect employees and clients from potential hazards associated with salon treatments. PPE includes items like gloves, masks, aprons, that keep staff safe from harmful chemicals and germs. Wearing the right protective gear prevents skin irritation, breathing problems, and other health risks while providing services. It also helps keep clients safe, showing that the salon takes hygiene and safety seriously. 1. Type 2 Face Masks is strictly required to be used in any beauty salon that offers nail care, hair care, skin care, massage, and tattooing services, to ensure safety for both customers and the salon staff when providing services like hair treatment, nail cleaning and hand spa etc. Face masks help prevent the spread of germs and protect the staff from inhaling chemicals or dust during treatments. Wearing a mask keeps both the client and the worker safe, especially during close contact services. A type 2 face mask is a medical, surgical mask that provides a higher level of protection compared to standard cloth or simple surgical masks. 2. Disposable apron is advised to be used in the beauty salon to protect the hairdressers, haircutters, facial and nail care experts from any chemical spills from beauty products that are applied to the customers. Aprons protect the staff's clothing and skin from chemicals or hair dyes that could stain or irritate. Using disposable aprons also keeps hygiene high reducing the risk of spreading germs from one client to another. 3. Disposable vinyl or nitrile gloves. Used for cleaning and giving actual treatments. It is advised to be used while giving service to the customers when giving hair treatments, cutting hair and when using hydrogen peroxide to protect the skin of salon staff from chemicals. Gloves act as a barrier between the staff's hands and potentially harmful chemicals. They also reduce the chance of spreading bacteria while giving treatments, keeping both the worker and client safe during services. Role play, short skit. Class, let's practice what we learned about hazards in beauty salons. Form groups and prepare a short skit showing one hazard and how to prevent it. Guiding questions. What hazard is shown? How can it be prevented? Can anyone give an example of when wearing PPE is important? Always remember that PPE protects both you as a salon worker and the client from accidents and infections. Why is PPE important for both workers and clients? Lesson summary. 1. Differentiate hazards and risks. 2. Give examples of possible hazards in a beauty salon. 3. What are the examples of PPE? Written. Assessment.